Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so uh, I'll uh, start. So the applications and tools which I used are Packer, Git, uh, Shell Script, AWS, and uh, Jenkins. Jenkins I used as a build tool, and I uh, the prerequisites which we should have to uh, complete this project are an AWS account with preferably IAM role because it's a good security practice. Generally in corporate, I have learned that people won't log in with root IDs and all. And we'll, we should have a Jenkins instance and a GitHub account. And as I did using shell scripting, I had to use Linux environment and Packer installation. So coming to uh, Jenkins, um, so yeah, this is a reference diagram which I referred uh, to understand the architecture shared by the PPT. Uh, so initially we'll push the code to Jenkins and then Jenkins will build the AMI using Packer. So how Jenkins will know like this is a particular code that I have to fetch from uh, GitHub and uh, whether I, it is authenticated to get it. So for that we should uh, initially uh, specify the we should create a pipeline in which we should give the repository URL from where uh, the Jenkins has to fetch the code and which branch it has to build. And what are the build steps we have to do that we have to write in uh, the Jenkins file. And coming to the uh, integration, we have to create a new credentials, uh, which will be under the manage Jenkins section. And then uh, uh, the Jenkins and GitHub connectivity can be established. That authenticity part will be established. So uh, coming to uh, demo. Uh, so I have uh, installed a Docker container with the Jenkins image. So my Jenkins in instance is a Docker uh, instance container image on which I have installed the uh, Packer, uh, which we need for uh, creating the golden image. So here, uh, this is the Packer location. I have installed the Packer on the Docker container. And then my source code I have placed in uh, GitHub repository. And in this GitHub repository, I have created the Packer file. So these are the profiles, the AMI name, instance type, region, and as uh, Sanjay, you told like we can have multiple regions uh, while creating the uh, AMI image. I tried that initially while giving a list uh, to uh, include multiple regions. And uh, later on, I removed it uh, to make it simple. And uh, yeah. here we I'll be uh, we have see here the string list for AMI regions I have defined. And then we can add the AMI regions if we want multiple regions. So, and we can specify here. And uh, uh, this was a uh, script which was given by you to install uh, Git and the CloudWatch and all. So coming to the Jenkins file, as I told, we should create a secret uh, key which we can create here. So whatever we do, like to integrate Sonar Cube, uh, Sonar Cloud, Jenkins, everything, we should have an, a key to uh, establish a confidential connectivity between them. So uh, similarly, I did uh, for uh, GitHub also. This is the secret key, personalized token. So for now, as we are using public repository, Jenkins can directly fetch the code. But in case of any private repositories, we need secret keys to access, which we should uh, give in the pipeline. So uh, uh, as I told, like uh, here we have uh, in this flow, the Jenkins will fetch, uh, fetch the code, right? So what are the steps like how to uh, install how to uh, validate the packer files how uh, to do the process and all these entire steps which a jenkins build has to do will be specified in a file called jenkins file which i have written here right now uh, this this is uh, spec uh, specifying the uh, credentials and the packer in it as i'm using uh, the values file so i have given the packer build in this format instead of direct packer build this these var file will give the values to the aws sorry to aws packer file so coming to the pipeline uh, let me deregister this yes. 
So we should go to the dashboard and here is the DevOps and cloud pipeline, which I created. As I told here, we should give the uh, link to the repository on which the build has to happen. If we have any specific branches, we should give that. And this is the path of Jenkins file. After that, we should, I'm building it. And here we can see uh, the one, the stages which we declare in the Jenkins pipeline, uh, those are here. Stage by stage, it will get executed. If you want to see the output, we can see the logs. Yep, it does take a little bit of time yeah, to install for, uh, everything. Yeah, yeah. and uh, similarly, uh, like we can integrate uh, uh, the question which I was asking to uh, Dinesh in the first PPT first presentation was like, can we integrate the Sonar Cube similarly as we did uh, GitHub and Sonar Cloud in this with uh, this solution? Sorry, um, with, with with Packer, you are asking. No, no, I'm not asking with Packer uh, for Sonar Cloud. Similarly, if we attach the token for the Sonar Cloud account. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, that's right. OK, cool. cool. Yeah, it you is can. scanning. Actually, it is scanning. <clears throat> and the syntax to execute that, I have to work on that. Yeah, cool. So cool. That's a good effort, uh, Shruti. And especially you mentioned you are just starting. So yeah, it's, it's a massive effort and very nice presentation uh, as well. So it's, it's good. Um, yeah, and once I it is done, we can uh, list that AMI image in the EC2 <laughs> console. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Uh, Nabil, before.